In this video, I'm going to show how to use a Sperry non-contact uh, voltage tester. Um, it's, it actually has batteries in it. Uh, there's batteries in this little device and it's non-contact tester. So I have a little wire here plugged to the outlet. It's got current going into the fan which is connected to this wire. So I'm going to show you how this electrical non-contact tester works. You press this little device here, bring it close to the, uh, and you bring it close to the wire. You see that? That means the, uh, there's current in that wire. Now I could do the same thing. I could unplug this. It no longer has current. You know, press the little lever here and bring it close. Nothing happens. There's no sound. But then let me show this again. So I plug it back in. Bring this close to it. See that? So that's how you test with a non-contact tester. It's good to check wires um, between two locations to see if it has current in it. I have another device here. Um, it's called um, an electrical circuit tester. It has a little light at the end that comes on. So I'm going to put this end in here and I'm going to put this I'm going to put the, these two ends in here. Uh, let me see. There we go. There we go. So I plug this into the outlet. This is how I check to see if the outlet is live. And there's one more thing you could do. You can even put one of these leads into the hot. So this small opening here is the hot side. You could put it in the ground if it lights up. It's see it's lighted up. So I have current going from the hot side to ground. If you put it on this side, most likely you're not going to see a light because there's no current coming through there. The current comes not through the large terminal, through the little terminal and goes into the large terminal. The, it's an AC current. It goes this way. It goes from the small side to the big side or it'll flow from this side to ground. So you can actually test it this way like I show here or you can test it this way and you should be able to get a light if you hook if you put it in correctly um, you can see the light right there so that's how you test the circuits in the garage I had to go through and check all the outlets in the same manner with this little device and the wires when I wanted to check the wires I would do it with this little device